Welcome YouTubers, Night Pandas today, bringing a video Bears captured, where a party member finds one of the best weapons in the game currently, Midas. We're here to talk to you today a little bit about what you're going to be doing in the end game, and to talk about one of the new scavenging perks, Item Find, which is just like Magic Find from Diablo 2, but it's for the Division. So today we have myself, Marnius, and with us is Bears in the Yukon. We're going to be watching a bunch of his footage on uh, on what he's been doing in the division. So Bears, in the game right now, what's uh, you've done the game, you've done all the campaign, what's yep. your goal? Well, right now I'm just trying to get my max high-end gear. High-end high is like the uniques? Yep. High-end yep. are your yellow gear. Usually, Some of them have unique names, just like Midas. Mm -hmm. uh, I have right now one high-end gear with the name, that's Damascus, a pistol that oh, I crafted. Okay. Uh, so there's different ways to get high-end gear. You can buy it with Phoenix points, you can just find it on the ground, or you can craft them with so blueprints. So with your item find, uh, is it like percentage base? How is this working on the gear? Well, item find is basically in your exploration and your character stats. So go to inventory, character, right at the very bottom is exp uh, exploration. Now that is a percentage effect on that is stats. It's on your gear. So all your gear builds up to this. And scavenging increases the chance of finding more and better items. So end game goal is really just like Diablo kind of style magic finding, just doing yep. runs? Yep. Oh, okay, okay. So pretty much you're going to have to build your Dark Zone rank anyways to 50. That's where you're going to get your really good crafting high-end blueprints. And crafting is the best way to get the best stats. So, so with crafting, is that... Is that a good way to increase item find? What's the best way, really, to increase your item find? Uh, right now, the best way to increase it is with socketing or socketing from Diablo, but you put a mod onto your gear, which in can increase scavenging. Or you can get the spec ops pads from the vendor at the base that increases 25% item find and 25% uh, credit found drops so these pads these are a must have for for everyone that's going to be getting into the item magic fine region yep a anyone can buy this through the vendor it takes a 111 phoenix points to get oh, okay so once you get this item it adds it and it also gives 88 percent to scavenging now phoenix points what exactly are the phoenix points phoenix points is your high end credit or money system after endgame. Once you get to level 30, you get the ability to unlock Phoenix points. And Phoenix points, the best way so far since they've nerfed it from opening, is to do daily missions and challenge missions. Oh, okay. So the, the, the challenge missions, those are like the hardest ones currently. Yeah, daily missions, the enemies are level 30, and then challenge missions the level are 32. Or you can kill named bosses in the dark zone. So, so you can item find anywhere, not just the dark zone. Yeah, you can item find doing strike missions, regular encounters, anything where you kill an item you can get will be affected by your scavenging and item find. Oh, but okay. named bosses in the dark zone have a higher chance of dropping high end gear and being named. Okay, so what is really keeping you going end game? Is it that like magic finding like bail mephisto chaos sanctuary runs yeah i was a huge fan of diablo 2 so doing the the original runs is my favorite and this really brings me back to it so at this point i'm trying to get to my dark zone 50 but after that i believe i will keep going in there for the the chance to get these named items that i would normally not be able to even craft i have to usually find these things so now with this like uh, this IF, I want to keep wanting to call it an MF because that's you know I was yeah. an MF source. And on that topic, can I build a solo MF character or is you know and still wreck that boss? I need to get those drops from. Easily have an item find build gear set that oh, okay. you can keep in your stash or keep on your character, and just when you get into the dark zone or those situations where you're gonna wanna, you uh, can switch off quick. Yeah, well, oh, okay. relatively quick. You go in, as long as it takes to change your actual screen. But so, there is no, I'm in combat, I'm locked into this gear. No, you oh, can okay. change on the fly. Okay, very nice. Good to know, good to know. Bear's yeah. here. He's got his DPS gear. He's got his item find gear. Um, focus on your Phoenix points. Don't forget about those. If you want to be getting those Phoenix points, get the high-end gears. Get that, the knee pad, what was the knee pad called? Uh, the Spec Ops knee pads. 
So you're going to want to log on every day to do your dailies and do your challenge missions. And then if you still want to play after that, that's when you go into the dark zone and you IF. And again, you're not limited to the dark zone to IF. The guy in this video has found the Midas in the dark zone, but, you know, he just happened to luck out. You could find it anywhere. Yeah. And uh, if you are running that solo IF build, doing the item finding on your own, Again, like Bears said, run that high-end DPS gear that's going to knock him down. And then right before you kill him, throw on your IF or MF, whatever you want to call it. Throw on that gear, finish him off, get the good loot. You want those golds. Yeah. So if you're doing even a, just a mission with your buddies, just doing PvE, uh, just for lightweight, you don't want to risk your Dark Zone level 50 rank on dying stupidly. Then, yeah, you, before you get in the last half, you'd all sit down at a ammo station, change your gear on, go do that last boss. This is our little two cents from Night Pandas. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like and subscribe below if this is your kind of thing. We'll uh, try getting out there with some more videos for you, some different games eventually in the future. Right now, the division is just, uh, it's hot. It's very hot.